Sorry, it's so dark. I really haven't gotten up yet. I just uh, woke up. Well, that's not true. I actually woke up like an hour ago, but I had coffee and watching YouTube in bed. I miss living in the city. I do, I'm sorry to say. And I know I haven't lived here for a long time. It's only been like, I don't know, three, four months. So it's not long at all, but I, I feel very isolated and alone out here. And I'm hoping it's just cause we moved here during like the winter. So it's been winter and dark and cold and I hate that to begin with. So that doesn't really help on being in a new place where I don't know anyone. I'm really looking forward to spring and summer and I think it's gonna be gorgeous here when the summer comes and it's getting warm and sunny i really hope it's gonna help this place where i live it is not a city it is like a small village but i don't even live like in the center of the little village there is nothing here to do this it's just like a neighborhood suburban neighborhood and it's very very boring and I'm not really used to that. I'm not used to there not being like parks or, or people or, I don't know, I, I, I feel a bit lost out here. I hate saying that. And I really, really hope it's gonna get better. I miss my friends. I miss, I just miss the city. I just miss, yeah, being a part of the world, I don't know, even if I am an introvert and don't have that many friends and don't hang out with people that often in the city, it's still like I can just go out in the city and just feel just, I don't know, shopping or just having a, um, a walk or just whatever and just feel like I am a part of the world, basically. And now I am not. Out here, I am not part of the world. I'm not part of anything. Let's just hope it changes soon. I have nothing to do today, so I decided to take Kyla out for a walk, just get some fresh air and uh, maybe show you guys some small clips of what it looks like where I live now. You are such a good girl. Yes, you are. So over there is where we're headed, this island right here. It's probably uh, my favorite place here in Manusla, as far as I have experienced. Um, it's a tiny island and it's called Kinsaya. Apparently it used to be like a huge paper factory uh, that closed uh, many years ago and they've kind of made the whole area into this kind of modern industrial looking 
area with shops and cafes and stuff like that and I really like it. So they made this wall here so you can actually see the timeline of this area from when it used to be a paper factory and what years the changes happened over here. And it's kind of cool actually. I like when they do stuff like this and apparently the king visited uh, at some point. And in 2012 was where they made this whole area into shops and, and stuff like that. And also I just really enjoy the views from here. It's like a huge dam. Quite beautiful actually. So these are the old factory buildings. I kind of like that they kept them looking very factory-ish. Probably my favorite pizzeria and bakery at this place. Very cozy. Mente. So I went in and basically I just went right back out because it was a bit too noisy there for me today was a group of teenagers in there and they made a lot of noise and I just, ugh, um, I'm a bit too tired in my head today to sit there and endure that. So I can enjoy my podcast for a little bit longer. I can't really say that my mood got any better from this walk. I mean, just looking at this place is depressing. Because it's winter and it's wet and cold, it doesn't really help. I have good company. Yes, I do. Good girl. So this is my neighborhood. Yeah, nothing much happens here. I mean, can you blame me for staying inside a lot? And yeah, you might think I sound like Miss Whiny Winerson, and I, I sure I do. I do sound negative because I am negative and I am fucking depressed and this place is fucking depressing and that's why I sound like that. And I just need to vent to get it out and making vlogs like this gives me something to do. Like just filming and editing and just making just like a tiny insignificant, non-important vlog like this. It just gives me something to do. And I know this is not important. I know I'm not important. I really wish I was, but I'm not. And I know I'm not. This is all I'm gonna do for the rest of the day.
today is the 1st of March and it makes me so happy because it means that spring is actually coming now and today just happens to be a really really nice day as well it is sunny it is warm and it just really reminds me of what summer is like winter is over very very soon and i cannot wait i can see sun at the end of the tunnel so i went on a walk with my little dog and I got a package in the mail, which I have been waiting for. It is a t-shirt. <laughs> it is just a basic uh, off-white t-shirt. This is the back. So uh, this is a secondhand uh, t-shirt of the brand Off-White, which is one of my favorite brands but I really am a huge fan of buying secondhand, both uh, like hand purses and clothes and stuff like that, especially if it's like this uh, designer clothes labels, it's usually of a pretty good quality. So even if you buy them secondhand, they usually they're good quality if they're like neatly used. Uh, and often they're a nicer price and it's so much better for the environment. And I do care about that. So, and I do actually love buying secondhand. It just feels like I can give, I can give it new life to something that someone is not using anymore. I just, I don't know. I just like the idea of that. So I got this awesome off-white t-shirt, um, which I'm really looking forward to using now that summer is coming soon. This is actually men's t-shirt. Uh, it's a size extra small for men. So like uh, Off-White is like a streetwear brand that is often very like uh, oversized clothing. Uh, but this, I feel like this is like a perfect size for me. I like the kind of loose, uh, loose t-shirts. Uh, I did buy another one also uh, secondhand, uh, a different kind, but same brand. And I got, <laughs> I got it in the mail and it also was a size extra small, but it turns out it was just extra small for women. And you can see this is, um, it's pretty small, <laughs> but it's awesome. Um, even if it's really small, I think it's not too small. So I think I can still use this. I really like clothes and fashion. That's just, a thing I like to spend money on. We're all different. It's a bit of a chaos right now, but you know, that and shoes. Yeah, so I am a bit of a sneakerhead. Um, I do love shoes and sneakers. I'm one of those people who actually prioritize buying like clothes and shoes over other things. And I don't have kids. I didn't have any pets until now. I uh, didn't have a car uh, and I was kind of prioritizing my money that way so I could afford to buy a pair of expensive shoes or whatever. Not so much lately, but I am really looking forward to having these babies out again soon. So yeah, I guess that was a little bit of a taste of my closet. I don't know if any of you find this interesting at all, but if you do want to see more of my closet, I'm happy to show you. Just tell me in the comments and maybe I'll make a vlog about it. So I am here in my office getting ready to record uh, an episode of my Norwegian podcast. So I am going to have to end this vlog right here i think so thank you so much for watching this vlog and uh i hope you will subscribe to my channel and give this video a like that helps me a lot so yeah that was it hope you guys liked it and i will see you again in my next video <laughs> bye